Hi guys, it's Ruben the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 269 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Assuming that you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. An individual has purchased both collision and liability insurance on their automobiles. automobiles. The value of the insured automobile is defined as B, so this is equal to... Oop, this is equal to the value of the automobile automobile assume the loss L so this is the loss on automobile is a random variable with a cumulative distribution function given here calculate the probability that the loss on a randomly selected claim is greater than the value of the automobile so this is saying okay so what we want to find is the probability that the loss on a random selected claim is greater than the value of the automobile Okay, so I'm actually going to um, draw this CDF out so you can see. So this is equal to L, e L is equal to V. V is less than 1. Then it's equal to this function. And when L is less than V, so if I pick, for example, say this is like L and this is V. And if I say this is like 1, 0, and the first equation is L is less than V, is that true? Zero, um, 1 is less than 0. No. So then we know that the 3 fourth function goes on this side. L over V squared. And on this side it's the 1 minus 110. E to the negative L minus V over V. Okay, so we're looking... Okay. And we're looking for the probability that L is greater than V. So which side would that be? L is greater than V. Well, that's going to be this side right here, right? L is greater than V. Yeah. Because, for example, if I take that same point, 1 is greater than 0. That's true. So we know that's true. So we know we're using this formula right here. Okay. And they were to give you the CDF. So we don't have actually have to do a lot of um, work with this one. But we do have to take the complement. Because, again, CDF um, gives you the function from 0. So then it's easier for us easiest for us to find a complement v is less than l or wait l is less than or greater than v and because they give you the cdf already it's just one minus plugging in v for our value into our cdf so one over ten one minus one over ten e to the negative this is we're plugging in v value for l v, um, L, so V minus V over V, right? Or we can start simplifying this. Oh, here we go. So this could also be equal to 1 minus 1 minus, okay, this thing is just 0, zero right? V minus V is 0, so E to the 0 is just 1. So this is just equal to 1 tenth. So this is equal to 1 minus 9 tenth, which is just 1 tenth, which is equal to 0 0.1, which is our answer B. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!